What up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jesse Warden here. Today we're going to teach you how to install the Elm tool so you can start coding in Elm. Elm is a functional programming language for building browser-based applications. You write in Elm, a functional language, and then Elm will compile it to JavaScript, but runs in the browser. Normal HTML and CSS, you can write in whatever you want, but the actual code is written in Elm instead of JavaScript. Now you can integrate with JavaScript, but we're going to show you the tools that you need to do all that today and how to install them. <laughs> programming. Gaming, fitness, Jesse Morgan. The first thing you need to do is get something to edit your code. You can write in Notepad if you're on Windows or text edit, but tools have come a long way and they're really, really good. So first you wanna go get something like Visual Studio Code, which is different from Visual Studio. Visual Studio Code is free, it's by Microsoft. It's open source, you can download it for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. If you're on a Chromebook, I'm not sure what you can use. There's a lot of other ones like Sublime and Atom, et cetera, but I like code just because it's got the large support for multiple languages and someone who plays in multiple languages, it's really fun. So you download code for your thing, install it. Next up, you need to get Node. Node.js, if you don't know, if you already have it, don't worry about it. If you don't know, Node.js is a way to run JavaScript on the server. However, it also is utilized for a lot of tooling to build browser-based applications. Elm will utilize Node to compile to JavaScript. Don't know if you have it, just download one of the two builds. If you're brave like me, you always download the latest. If you don't know, you just get the stable. They're both about the same. They both work, Nothing, no worry about it. Download for your particular platform, install it. You'll then have Node.js. And finally, you need to install the Elm tools. So go to elmlang, elmlangdude.org. Click the install button. And what it'll do is it'll take you to the installations that it has for the three platforms of Windows, Mac, and Linux. For me, I click the Mac installer, the installer. It install the tools that you need, which are the main ones are the Elm REPL, which allows you to code in Elm in just the command line. You don't have to run a compiler. You can just play with code, see it work. The actual Elm Reactor, which is a local web server. So if you're building a web application locally, it'll require a web server to actually serve it for security reason. Elm Make, which is basically the compiler. So you write in Elm and it'll compile to JavaScript for you. And Elm Install. A lot of the packages or libraries you can install from the internet with versions. So you don't have to check every single library you're using in with your source control. You literally just check in something called Elm JSON. And so once you have these installed, you can then go play with it and make sure it works. 